Hey everyone, this is David Pike, the Motor City Mechanic. Now in today's video, we're not actually going to be working on a vehicle, but we're going to be talking about something that I think is very important when you do. Now it doesn't have to be just mechanic specific, it could be for other trades as well. And to me, it's the most important tool you're going to own. You're going to use this every day. You're going to use it on the way to work, at work, and on the way home at the end of the day, and you might even use it at home. And what are we talking about? We're talking about quality work boots. Now before we get started, I want to mention one thing. This is not a sponsored video by any means. These work boots were not sent to me and I was not paid to say anything that you're about to see on this video. I bought the work boots myself and this is just basically a review of my experience with them and why I like them. Now with that, let's go ahead and go back a few years. Now initially when I would buy any kind of footwear, it would be either tennis shoes or some sort of work boots that I would find either at Walmart or maybe the Payless shoe store. The only thing I was thinking about was how much did those cost? 40, 50 bucks, 50 was kind of pushing it. Now the one thing I didn't take into consideration was how long were these gonna last? And of course, typically I'd get about three to six months out of them, then I'd buy another pair. Not really thinking about how many I had bought in the past. Now, at the dealership, I would see my coworkers coming off these tool trucks and they'd be buying work boots. And I would always sit there and kind of laugh thinking, who buys work boots off of a tool truck? Well, typically those are the same people buying beef jerky off a tool truck. But again, I would sit there and I'd laugh it off. Till eventually I started noticing things and, and hearing their experience about them. And then it started clicking. A little common sense coming up to where you start doing the math and you go, you bought these shoes, you paid how much? And how long did the last pair last you? In the end, it started making perfect sense. And then at that point, I wasn't laughing anymore. So based off of that and their experience and their recommendation, I decided to finally pull the trigger. And I'm glad I did. So in this video, we're going to be talking about three things. We're not going to get into the details of what the material is, the science behind everything, whether there's fairy dust into the soles to make them lighter than air. We're not going to talk about all that. I'm going to deal with the three main things. First one is longevity, reliability. The second one is how comfortable they are. And the third thing is we're gonna talk about the price because price is important, but remember, you gotta factor all this in because in the end, it's really gonna make a lot of sense. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Now the boots that we're gonna be talking about today are Redbacks. Now these are made out of Australia and they're not cheap. But again, there's a reason why they're not cheap and that's got to do with how long they last. Now, Redback offers 14 different styles of work boots and work shoes. Now, the ones in this box are what they call the Bobcat or Easy Escape. And the reason why it's called the Easy Escape is, as you can see, we don't have any laces, we don't have any zippers. You've got two straps, and you slide your foot in, you slide your foot out. It's pretty cut and dry. But yet, they still stay on your feet nice and secure. Now, here are my original pair of Redbacks. These things are approximately four and a half to five years old. And up till now, I had no issues with. Yes, you can see the leather's broken. You've got your creases. That's just gonna happen over time. That's what actually allows it to be more comfortable once it breaks in. But you can see on the bottom that the soles had started getting smooth. So it wasn't much more life left into that. Now the problem I had is eventually the sole came unglued from the shoe. But again, four and a half to five years old. And I wore these things every day. I wore them to work, I wore them home, I wore them out to eat, I wore them on vacations. It didn't matter. To me, these were one of the most comfortable pair of shoes I owned. Now the red bags are just like any kind of high-end dress shoe. Initially, when you start wearing them, they're gonna hurt your feet. It's a matter of time of you breaking in the leather and the soles for them to start feeling comfortable. Now they come with an insert already. Now if you wanna buy one to put in, there's some kind of gel or whatever. That might help for a while, but again, once you break them in, they will get more and more comfortable. Initially, you're gonna second guess your purchase. You're gonna be like, I spent how much and these things are hurting my feet? You gotta give them time to break in. It's just the type of material that they're made out of. Now, the biggest question that everybody's gonna have is, how much do the work boots cost? Now, before I go answering that, I want you to take a couple things into consideration. Now, the quality's there. They're commercial grade work boots. Second thing is, the last pair lasted me four and a half to five years. 
Now before that, the dealership didn't require any kind of special footwood, and that had to be steel toed. So we're walking around in tennis shoes just like this. I'm going through pairs of these every six months, spending 30 to 40 bucks. I did have to bite the bullet and swallow $160 that initial purchase. These were the same price as well. So $160 lasted me almost five years. Again, it's an investment. It's a tool just like your impact, just like your toolbox, your scanner. This is probably the one tool you will use the most. You will use it every day, the entire day. So remember when you buy something, if it's this brand or another brand, ask around, talk to the other guys in the shop, see what they wear. Kind of ask the older guys, hey, what kind of footwear works best for you? I wear these things everywhere. Again, they didn't send them to me. They didn't ask me to say nothing about it. I bought these myself. That's what I wanted to tell you is something you need to take in consideration. There's a lot going on here. We got to worry about our health, our feet, and we got to be comfortable when we're doing these jobs. Now, if you decide to take my advice and order one of these pairs of red back work boots, there's two things I want you to keep in mind. The first one, which is really important is shoe size. Now, being that these are made in Australia, they use a different unit of measurement when it comes to shoes. For example, I wear an 11 and a half. As you can see by this chart, I needed to order a 10 and a half shoe. If you wear, for example, a nine, you'll order an eight. Literally, everything is one size smaller. Now, if you mess up and you order the wrong one, you're probably gonna have some work boots that are one size too big. Second thing, where do you order them from? Now there are stores on Amazon that do sell them and as well on the internet. The problem I ran into is they may not have a particular style or a particular size. So what I did was I went directly to the website, redbackboots.com. They had exactly what I needed and I got it in a timely manner. So keep those two things in mind. Now the whole purpose for this video was to give you another option when it comes to buying quality footwear. There's a lot of different brands out there and there's people that like this and people that like that. I'm just telling you what my personal opinion is. If you wear something different that you really like, leave something in the comments below. Tell me what it is. Tell me what the price is. I like to know the pros and cons. It's not just for me, but it's for all the viewers out there. This whole platform is for sharing information. Now, if you liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up on YouTube. Don't forget, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you got any comments or suggestions about anything you saw in today's video, again, leave something in the comments below. And also, if you like to shop on Amazon, please scroll down into the description below this video. Click on that link, make that your Amazon homepage, and no matter what you buy, it'll help support this channel. Once again, everybody, thanks for watching.